Hello, we are Group 7 and our topic is Catalytic Conversor of Lignocellulose-based Biomass to Biofuels, Overbear of Catalyst. So this video is very quick revive about catalyst used in thermochemical processes. But why we concentrate on thermochemical processes? Well, heating takes a lot of energy in the industry, so we wanted to focus on that. Reducing the temperature even a little bit has major effect for environment and economy. This way we get greener processes and save money. Transport fuels can be produced from the wood with catalytically aided thermochemical processes, as demonstrated in the picture below. This can be done either by direct bio-oil conversion or by sun gas hydrocracking. Catalysts are needed in the processes to reduce char formation and to increase the yield and quality of the bio-oil. They also enable bio-oil production from sun gas. So, this is our first thermochemical process, the Fischer drop process, in which biomass is gasified in high temperature and pressure. The produced sun gas is then catalytically converted to bio oil. The most common catalysts are iron and cobalt, which we have compared in the table. Other common catalysts are nickel, ruthenium, and rhenium. The second process is pyrolysis, in which biomass is degraded quickly in high temperatures without oxygen to form precursor gases which are condensed to bio-oil. Catalysts decrease the char formation and oxygen content of the bio-oil and are used straight in pyrolysis reactor or in hydrocracking of bio-oil. The most used catalyst is HZSM5, but other compounds such as molybdenum oxide with metal support have been researched widely. As you can see from the table, catalysts are quite different and suitable for different reactions and processes, depending on the purpose. Our third and final process is liquefaction, in which biomass is degraded in a wet environment to form bio-oil. Most common catalysts in liquefaction are alkali salts, such as sodium carbonate, and supported metal catalysts such as palladium. Although we have presented suitable catalysts for the different thermochemical conversion processes, optimal catalysts are still under research. The most suitable catalysts are determined by the process conditions and the wanted product composition. The most used lignocellulosic bio-oil catalysts are many noble metals, zeolites, iron and cobalt. You can find more from our written report. Thank you.